Happy Sunday, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I am Derek the Nitwit. Welcome to any new people and to all my wonderful subscribers. Thanks for coming back. So today has been a bit of a lazy Sunday. I did get up early to... Well, okay, I lied. I didn't get up early. I don't know where that came from. I got up and got moving a little bit quicker than normal just with the intention of I was going to rearrange my living room because I've got my modular yarn storage shelf coming tomorrow if FedEx hasn't changed their plans yet and um, anyway that's supposed to be coming tomorrow so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room for it so I get up and I'm moving you know couch from you know one wall to another and sliding the you know the shelf with no instructions you know moving it over to a different wall and just trying to make space get everything pretty much rearranged and said I don't like it Put it all right back where it was. The shelf that came with no instructions and 600 nuts and bolts came and it, as soon as I get to the modular shelves tomorrow, I am going to dismantle that one and try and redo it and make it a little bit more stable. Part of, part of the problem is, I think is, I mean, what, I think part of the problem is my floor is not like solid level. There's some warp to it. Um, part of it is it's just not playing nice with me. So right now it's naughty ass has a stand in the corner. So now the whips that I'm working on, I'm, I've made some progress on the market bag. We've got this perfectly. Make a nice little hat out of it. Um, but no. It's starting to, I'm, you know, I've been working coming up the sides for a bit, but until I got some height to it, you couldn't tell because it would still just lay flat. So I have probably lost count on one or two rows, but if it's got extra rows, then it's just going to be one or two rows longer. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm at row 18 out of 32 before I start making the handles. So, but I'm liking it. And then once I get, at, get this one done, then I'm going to start working on the, making the rug for the living room. Now I did have someone suggested I try a top down raglan and I actually have someone that sent me a link to a pattern and I'm going to try it. Um, I I saved the pattern on Ravelry that, that was sent to me. I just I like the pattern that I had probably because it was a hoodie, and I'm sure I could figure out how to turn another one into a hoodie. I did find a and oddly enough, I wake up this morning. I'm on one of the email lists that I had was a cro a pattern for a it was a crochet pattern for a vest. This is a sleeveless vest, but it had a hood. So I was like, well, that works because then I've got my, still have my hooded, you know, thingy, but it's a crochet pattern. And right now it seems like crochet patterns are working better for me than knitting. And I still have my blanket, my knitting blanket that I was, that I've been working on that I'm making in the home deck as well, but it's a different color home deck. And it should be done before, probably at the end of the next the end of the next pattern, you know, the pattern repeats probably where I'll go ahead and close it out just because of the length of it. It's getting to where it's definitely not a standard shape because I sleep on my couch. So a full width, like twin size width would be too wide because it, it's either bunched up at the back or it's hanging off onto the floor. But I, you still want it long enough to work as a blanket. So... This one that I'm working on, it's getting there, and even though, you know, I can't see the pattern as well because of the pattern, the coloring of the yarn is so busy that it hides the pattern, but I got an idea how to, I mean, I got an idea of how the pattern works, so when I go to do the pattern again in the, in the future, I will know, um, excuse me. Lazy Sunday kick it in. Um, when I go do the pattern, the next time I do the pattern, you know, I, I know all the, 
you know, the kinks are worked out and I know, you know, definitely do a solid color the next time. So. Now, today we're going to do part two of the programs that I'm using to earn stuff. So, and these are the website ones because I know some, a couple people commented that, you know, the apps was, you know, all well and good, but they don't have a smartphone. It's not going to benefit them, which, you know, yeah. So the website ones are ones that anybody can do as long as you have access to the internet. And if you're able to get on YouTube and don't have access to the internet, can you let me know? Because I've got a $70 internet bill I could get rid of. So the first one, now this is an ultimate. Everybody is trying to get a hold of me all at once and they can just wait. Good grief. All of my alerts come in. I, I won't get an alert or notification for anything for an hour and then they all come in all at once. Okay, so the first one, this is a very, very much a, it's a lazy earner. You set it up and after you do the initial setup, you don't have to mess with it again. Now it's also, because it's so easy, it's a slow learner. I mean, and it's called my achievement or myachievement.com. And I, it, the whole thing is to help reward you for doing healthy things. Um, logging your food, being active, quitting smoking, or, you know, do different things like that. So I have it linked where it, I have a MyFitnessPal. And um, then of course with the Android phone, I have Google Fit or also Samsung Health. But it pairs with MyFitnessPal and with Google Fit. And once they're paired, I don't do anything. It automatically gets that information. So I, anytime I log food or log water or active, I mean, it counts the activity that I get walking to the bus stop yes. or then that evil air fresher again, or you know, walking around inside Walmart, it tracks all that. And then I get points for it. And what's funny is because I could go and take a 45 minute walk and get the same number of, you know, points that I would get just for the walk from here to two blocks down the road to catch the bus. So because I, but, but riding the bus, you know, you've got the walk from the house to the bus stop, from the bus stop to the store, from the store to back to the bus stop, from the bus stop back to the house. So that's four times, it's like I'm getting four times as many points as I would as if I just did all in one exercise thing. So I'm not going to complain about extra points. Now, this one, once you get to 10,000 points, you get $10. And so, I mean, it's slow earner. Like, this is just one of those that every so often, right now, like, oh, look, hey, free 10 bucks. Um, but that's, you know, $10 that I didn't have last week. The next two programs are primarily email focused, meaning that they send you an email. And in the email, you click a link and it opens a web page. Now, this isn't like a phishing web page or anything like that. These are legitimate programs that I have cashed out on. Um, and you're not having to, you, once you open the websites, you can immediately close them back down. It's just a way for an advertiser to get the information out to you. And um, one of them is my points and the other is inbox dollars. Now, my points, you earn, it used to be just a set five points per email and then it, it's, it varies. Some emails actually aren't worth anything and some of them will be worth one point. I've seen some up to like seven points just for open the email, find the link, which is pretty big box inside there. You know, it's not like you have to hunt for the link. Click the link, let the web page open. Don't even have to look on the web page. Just let it load and then close it. You get the points. And then you can cash in those points for, um, for gift cards. I just cashed in for a $5 gift card at Amazon. Normally I set, like, I save my points up to get a higher denominations. It, Brad? Not sure what she did, but it sounded like she was about to fall and take the blinds down with her. Um, it didn't actually save me if I want to get, you know, you know, $10 or, or like a $10 gift card isn't cheaper than two $5 gift cards like it is with some programs. So I don't feel as bad cashing in early, but I still tend to save it to, until I need it just because I like having that little bit of a buffer there. The other one, inbox dollars, you get two cents for every click through, every email. When you open an email and you click the link, that's called a click through. So you get 
two cents for each email that you open. You have to get to $30 and you can cash out. Now, the first time you cash out, I mean, it takes several weeks before they actually send you the money. And I think the very first time it has to be a paper check they send you in the mail. And then after that, they will do direct deposit to your bank. Unless they've changed it since from when I first did it. People change policies. But it used to be that they would do the paper check because they wanted to verify your address, your physical address before they would, or your mailing address before giving, you know, the bank account route. Both my points and inbox sellers, both of them also, you can go on the website and do surveys. I almost never do surveys. I've got to be bored, beyond bored to do the surveys with them just because there's so many other places I can do surveys. And to be honest, surveys aren't that fun. So, um, now inbox sellers also has a thing that if I'm at Walmart, I'll open, a lot of times, like, you're, I'll get points just for checking in to a Walmart, like, or I'll get, like, five cents for checking into a Walmart. It, the GPS, as I'm driving by, riding by on the bus, is enough for me to actually be able to, to check in sometimes. So, that's just, you know, freebie points. But when I'm actually in a Walmart, I can, it'll have different items that they want to scan. Like, you go and you're just scanning the barcode, and you get five cents an item. Sometimes there's four things listed. Sometimes there's ten things listed. It and it can be different. You know, every time you go in there, and I will almost never find every single thing in stock at Walmart. Like today, I had to scan two different types of Nature Valley granola bars and two different things of canned Perrier, and one of the flavors of Perrier they didn't have. Then some um, organic apple cider vinegar, which I, I can never find. And some Kotex liners, like for bladder leakage liners, and then some Depends. So I was able to find one, two, four of the items. So that's 20 cents I got just for scanning things. And I don't mind going out of my way to scan for items at, at, with inbox dollars just because it's not 10 million clicks and then you can cash in. It's a very definite, here, scan this, we'll give you five cents. So, so those are the two um, email based ones. And I've used my points. When I first signed up for my points, you went shopping in a catalog with, with point values, you know, like, 20,000 points would get you a VCR. That's how far back it was because they were probably still actually offering VCRs. Um, so now it's just gone to the you cash in for gift cards everywhere. But I've been using them for a very long time. I've used inbox dollars for a long time. And those are ones I definitely trust. The next one, two, three... One, two, three, four. The next five sites, these, these are survey sites. These are not sketchy surveys. These are legitimate. I have been paid out with every single one of these. The first one is yougov.com, Y-O-U-G-O-V.com. And again, any of these that I have links for, you know, I will post, well, these are all websites. So I will be able to post links down in the description box for all of these. So, but you got the surveys tend to be political. They're either they're either political or they're about brand awareness. You know, I did one this morning about um, hotel chains. Which hotel? Which of this long list of hotel chains was uh, where I was I aware of? Which of these had of the ones that had been, that I was aware of? Which had I heard advertisements for recently? Which had I talked about with my friends recently? Which ones would I be? embarrassed to work for, you know, which ones would I recommend to family and you know, friends, things like that. The political ones, yeah, they, I mean, with a website called YouGov, I would expect them to be political. But, uh, but they're not, they're not biased. And you have the opportunity to rate each survey at the end of it, you know, how well you think it was. Uh, but they're pretty good. I tend to save up to the 50 to between where I, where I can either get $50 or $100 rewards 
you can cash in um, when you get to a $25 reward as the smallest reward you can cash in for. But the surveys are done, they're points, 250 points to 750 points per survey generally. They also have a program that by invite only called YouGov Pulse, and that is another website, you know, like, like the mobile performance meter where it tracks your, you know, the anonymized data usage on your phone. But I have cashed out with them quite a bit. That's the one that I was waiting on for the $50 Amazon card so I could order my yarn shelves. And that it took them, it did take them about 10 days, 10 business days or so to, from when I requested the payouts to when they actually emailed me the gift card. And that is about a, about standard for them. The other one is called Pull Pass. And, and it's, the website when you go to it, it's going to look more like, almost like a Facebook Messenger as far as what the, the format of the page looks like. So it's more of a kind of a give and take type thing. You usually, usually only get a handful of questions at a time, and I don't necessarily get questions available every day. Each question's worth generally five points. At 5,000 points, I can get $5. It's a smaller company. Um, I've cashed in with them a couple times. It does usually take about three to five business days to get paid out with them. But, you know, they're, they're harmless questions. And they do tend to either, at the end of the questions for the day, they will uh, either give me a funny GIF or a cute picture. Now, my, fav my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite survey site is QME. It's QME. -E. Um, it's a survey site. They have a ton of surveys. They also they have a phone app, but you can also do it on the web on the website and as a browser extension even. Most surveys take about 15 minutes or less, and they pay between 30 cents to a dollar, depending on the survey. You can cash out to PayPal at any amount. I mean, you can cash out for 10 cents if you want. Um, you can also get Am cash out for Amazon gift cards and unless they've changed it, you have to have a minimum of $5 to cash out to Amazon. Pay with them is generally immediate. Like I cashed out with them between walking, when I left Walmart this morning, this afternoon, I cashed out with them. And by the time that I got to Dollar Tree, like five stores down the row in the shopping mall or the, the you know strip mall, I had already been paid out. And actually, I think I've been paid out prior, you know, quicker than before I got there. But it was, it's virtually immediate. This is the site I generally use to pay for my haircut each month. So my other one that I will use, actually, this one is a, is a phone app. I forgot about that one. It's called Quick Thoughts. And you, it only pays out Amazon gift codes. But you, if you complete a survey, it's generally a dollar. If you attempt a survey but get declined, then it's 10 cents. And at $10, you can cash out for an Amazon gift code. And in the last week, I think I've cashed out like 20 or $30 on that. And the other one that I, that I really like is Pinecone, pineconeresearch.com. They're not always open. So if they're not open, when you go to sign up, check back with, you know, save the, but, you know, bookmark the webpage, check in with them every so often. This is when my mom did. And of course, when my mom did it, they would actually mail out product samples, you know, like full-size versions of product samples whatnot, for her to try. And then she would do a survey, do the surveys, the follow-up surveys, and then they would mail her a $5 bill. And what they do now is they send out, sur you send out surveys. And I get surveys probably at least twice a month, sometimes more frequently, sometimes it may go for a little twerp. There's a reason I have this hidden. She chews on the cord for the blinds. Um, but each survey is worth, it's worth 300 points. And 300 points you can trade in for, I believe, $3 PayPal. Or you can also save up, and because I usually save it up until I need the money, and then I will cash out. And it's generally pretty quick. I mean, it's not instant, but it's, it's quicker than YouGov is. 
I'm watching you. The last survey, survey site that I use is called Forthright. And Forthright has a daily cap limit of ten dollars a day. If you can if you can put up with a site for long enough to earn ten dollars in surveys, then I'm impressed because they have a ton of surveys. They always have surveys available. It's just getting approved for them, and it feels like an infinite loop while you're trying to get approved. So I only do them if I am super super bored, or if I get an email that it's a uh, A partner survey which is pretty much even if you don't get approved for partner survey you get what's called a loyalty credit and at three credits you get a two dollar bonus so you know worst case scenario I'm getting the one of my punches for look for that for that bonus now the last website that I use is mturk it's mturk dot com this is a micro job website that's partnered with Amazon, or actually I think Amazon owns it. You can do surveys, you can type transcripts, you can make videos of yourself saying phrases, um, you can test, like they have a lot of chatting with an AI bot type things. Um, if you went to school for, or working in a certain field, sometimes they have you write like a short essay about your job or a whole lot, a lot of different things. It's not like Fiverr as you, know, there's not going to be anything that you have to go away and design and then come back and do. And there's no, you know, not anything weird, you know, that, that people are going to be asking you to do. And, but even each server, they have things on there, they're called hits. And they have hits that are worth a penny. They have some that are worth quite a bit more. I tend to go in and a lot of times I will just search for all the ones I'm qualified for, starting with, you know, the highest value and going down. <coughs> One of my favorite ones I like to do is, it's basically it's data entry, where I am typing out information off people's cash register receipts that are probably people that were working programs like the receipt programs from yesterday. But that one, it used to be that you could only pay out to Amazon gift cards. They've recently changed it where you can actually pay, pay out to your bank account. And uh, I actually had to go in and set it up to where set my payment preference where it's going to in every three days it will automatically automatically transfer my earnings to the bank account now so and um, I probably will have to make an effort to get on there at least for 15 minutes a day and do a couple hits just because that's easy I mean I'm not you know it's the quickest earner. it can be the quickest earner out of all of them but and they're and they're pretty much mindless task. If you can type, if you can, don't mind taking an extra survey for like a grad student somewhere, you know, MTurk is a good one to do. Plus the fact that it's backed by Amazon. So, you know, it's, to me, that reputation, you know, helps, you know, helps with um, my opinion of it. So anyway, I am going to deal with a furry little dictator and um, chill out and work on my market bag and eagerly await the arrival of my storage shelves tomorrow so that I can fix the other one. So anyway, um, like I said, I'll post all the link to these in the description down below. But if you sign up for any of these or if these, you know, ones that you're interested in, or if you know of some that I haven't covered, leave me a comment down below. Um, because, you know, it's like, you know, Y'all may know of some that I don't. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great evening and enjoy the next coming week.